How should I begin? Portland, Oregon. You can read the sign. It's a very visually interesting city. So here are a few interesting visuals I found that illustrate aspects of my personality. One might label me quiet or introverted, but as a filmmaker, I don't shy away from controversial subjects. I am firmly rooted in the stories of the past, and yet I am also forward-looking and genuinely optimistic about the future. I am over-caffeinated by any reasonable standards, though my outward temperament remains very calm and flexible to different environments. I grew up in a large family of boisterous performer types in the town of Aloha. It's an unincorporated blue-collar suburb in the heart of Washington County, which is the New Jersey of Portland. It's home to the world's largest statue of a rabbit and this abandoned rib joint. It used to be owned by Snoop Dogg's uncle. And those are probably the most exciting things you'll see in Aloha. Back to Portland. Abraham's Fabric Clinic. One might say that I work in the medical field, but for clothing. Primarily, I drive a daily delivery route to 15 hotels spread throughout the city, which makes me an expert on Portland traffic patterns and NPR's afternoon lineup. Working at Abraham's has brought me back to the neighborhood that inspired my first documentary when I was 17. When Stumptown was Jumptown, told the story of a bustling jazz neighborhood, plowed under to make way for the interstate, and the musicians that struggled to keep their music alive. It even inspired me to do a series of paintings. I saw how my inborn creativity could be focused on helping others tell their stories. As a journalism student at the University of Oregon, I worked on What We Could Carry, the story of Japanese American college students forced off campus during the time of the internment. After graduating, I was hired by my former professor, Daniel Miller, to edit and write narrations for his documentary, Fire in the Heartland. And I jumped at the opportunity to work on this film. But these mountaintop achievements certainly don't paint the whole picture. They merely illustrate that I habitually get pulled into large, ambitious projects, and that my creative energy spills out at every opportunity. There are many things I love about living in Portland, but the facts on the ground remain. New York City is the undisputed world capital of documentary film, and if I intend to pursue a career in this field, it's where I need to be. The New School Documentary Studies program can make this a reality. Please admit me to the program. My name is Sam Allen, and I deliver.